Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in Lawn Nepal. This is a video series of Photon tutorial and here I am ready with my text editor and terminal open side by side. Just make sure to change your directory to your working folder. Today we will be learning about operator in Photon. We can perform simple mass operation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division easily in Photon. Let's take a simple example program and I'll give example name you can give any name and program and as usual implicit non at first now I'll create two variable that can hold integer value so integer and I can give a comma b now two variables a and b will be created that can hold integer value now I will give the value of a is 4 and I'll give b value is 3 okay this a equals to 4 and b equals to 3 these two are different statements you can't write two statements on the same line using comma like declaring two variables here but what you can do is you can write two different statements on a single line using semicolon between the two different statements but i will not prefer to do so okay now uh, let's add them so variable a plus variable b plus sign is the addition and i'll give a minus b that is the subtraction and i will do multiplication also and i'll give divide also and the last mathematical operation is power so for the power we have to give two asterisk sign so that means a to the power b so a is 4 and b is 3 so it means 4 to the power 3 now let's print out the result so the photon variable dot f90 and dot slash error okay now we can see the result this is the sum a plus b this is the difference a minus b this is a into b this is a into b this is a divided by b so 4 divided by 3 actually gives the float value decimal value 1.33 but since a and b both are declared as an integer so integer divided by integer gives the only integer value without the decimal value so here comes 1 and a to the power b means 4 to the power 3 4 times 4 16 times 4 64 so this way we can perform simple mathematical operation so what if we need exact value of 4 divided by 3 that means in a decimal then we can change integer into real now a and b are declared as a real variable so it's better to give 4.0 but 4 also works fine 3 also works fine but it's better to give 0 0.0 for the real if we run the program and let's see the output we get the float values containing the decimal place so here a divided by b gives 1.333 it has 8 decimal place because the default kind is 8 so it has 8 decimal place but we can change its precision by using the kind specifier as we discussed in the previous video we can make this code even shorter we can declare the variable and give the value on the same line so i will it is these two lines and i will give the value on the same place so a is 4.0 okay comma b is equals to 3.0 i have used five different print statements but we can write all those in a single line so i'll delete this all so a minus b a multiply b a divided by b so this code looks even shorter than before but the main code is still the same so let's run it okay it gives the same value but in a single line because we have used only one print statement so that's all about maths operation or automatic operation but photon also supports relation operation like equal to greater than less than and so on 
the only difference between these two operation is mass operation give values that are real or integer or complex depending upon the variable declaration whereas relation operation gives logical value either true or false now let's have a look at an example so uh, i will consider same declaration a and b and same value now i will use print function now first uh, relation operation is equal to now for the equal to we have to write two equal to sign remember single equal sign means assigning the value so it means who value is assigned to the variable a now double equal to means to check whether a is equal to b or not if a and b are equal then it gives true if a and b are not equal it gives false now let's have a look at other relation operation so a is greater than b this is another a is less than b or a is greater or equal to b a is less or equal to b and uh, a is a not equal to b so these are the operations now let's run it okay see we got the result false true false true so is a equal to b it says false yes because 4.0 and 3.0 are not equal a greater than b is 4 greater than 3 true is 4 less than 3 false is 4 is greater or equal to b true so and the final one is a not equal to b true these are the six different uh, relational operation <laughs> instead of the sign we can also write in a letter dot eq dot dot eq dot is same as double equal to and for the greater sign we can write greater than and for the less sign we can write less than and for the greater or equal to sign we can write greater or equal to okay and for less or equal to we can write less or equal to and for not equal to we can write dot not equal to dot okay so it should give out the same result as the previous one only we have changed the sign okay now let's summarize this so we studied math operation math operation that is addition subtraction multiplication for the multiplication asterisk sign and division and for the power to asterisk signs and we studied relational operation and relation operation does not give out the value like integer or real or complex but it gives out the logical value that is either true or false so first one is a equal to b remember double equal sign means to check whether a is equal to b or not or you can write dot eq dot and this is not equal sign and this is greater less than greater or equal to less or equal to so these are the operations you should be familiar with before moving ahead in the next lesson now i'll delete this all now let's go back at the print statement program name okay program x doesn't matter you can write any and program and implicit non okay till now we have used print statement either to print the text or to display the value of the variable like integer and I will give a now print a so till now we have used print statement in this two format either to display the value of the variable or to display the text uh, we forgot to declare the value of the variable so a equal to 6 okay let's run it so we got 6 and hello so till now we have used print statement to play the value of the variable and to display the text now let's try to combine both so how can we do that it's simple so uh, what we can do is just use comma 
between the text and the variable so if we run this so we got hello world and six on the same line so uh, let's do one more example i will write count variable and i will give count equals to 10 now i will say i have 10 apples i have and 10 count and apples so this i have is a text so it will display as it is and count is a variable so variable value will be taken count value is 10 so 10 value will come here and apple so it should print out i have 10 apples remember to put comma as a separator so if we compile and run so we got i have 10 apples now certain spaces is here uh, that is for the formatting so let's forget about that for now so in this way we can combine text and a variable okay this much for this video if you have any question write down in the comment section below and we will continue in the next video mm -hmm.